Hello everyone. We are here today to learn about using the random breakout tool. Uh, breakout groups are an excellent way to carry out some interactive activities with students and allow them to do some active group work in your course. Uh, you can assign breakout groups both random and customized and in this video we're going to look real quick at how to do um, how to use the random breakout group tool. So we open our collaborate panel down at the bottom right. My uh, roster panel is detached but I have some wonderful CTEL faculty here acting as my uh, acting as my students. So at the bottom of the screen when we go to our share content tool you'll see down at the bottom of the share content tool is breakout groups. We can open the breakout group tool and we do have some different choices here that we can use. Today we're going to use the randomly assign and the random assignment for breakout groups uh, collaborate will just automatically put students into however many groups you want with a minimum of two people per group. So I have four students in, the, in my class today, so I'm going to have two groups. Uh, if I had, say, 12 students, I could have six groups of two, four groups of three, three groups of four, et cetera. So I can make that arrangement any way that I want. If I want to include myself in a group assignment, I could do that. Um, this would be used maybe if you have multiple moderators uh, in the group. If you want to allow students to switch between groups, you can allow them to do that, but you want to make sure that you tell them how to do that beforehand, um, and that we will cover in um, another video. So we can shuffle the attendees. You can see here as I come down and look at my groups, it's already randomly assigned them into groups. They just haven't been placed into the groups yet. If I want to move someone from one group to another, I can just simply click on, uh, on dragging them here, and I pick them up, and then it gives me the two rooms and I can randomly put them into another room. So now Michelle is by herself in one room and I have three people here in group two. Maybe I wanted to put Wendy with Michelle, so I grab Wendy and I move Wendy up to group one. When the box turns purple, I release and she's now in that group one. So we are able to move students when they're in random groups. Um, we just haven't, uh, we just don't necessarily want to do that all of the time. So if you want to move them in random groups, you can, um, or you can just allow Collaborate to put them in whatever groups you want. So we click Start. And once we start, now our students are in going to be placed into their breakout groups. Now I'm in the roster panel in the roster tool, and inside of the roster tool, I can see where the students are in the different groups. So there's the main room that I am in right now. So now I have every, um, that's just me. Group one has two people in it. You can see the number two here, um, and this is group one. They are participants, and that's Michelle and Wendy. And group two has two people in it. They are participants, and that's Elisabetta and Misha. Now in these groups, as the moderator, I have the ability to hop around and move from one group to the next. In order to move from one group to the next, you just look to the right of the title of the group, so group number one. And there's this green arrow here to the right. This is just the doorway into group one. So I can click on group one and it will now move me into group one uh, so I can answer a question. I can uh, assist. I can make sure that the students are able to see what they need to see. I can then move back to the main room and I can um, wait to see if another student uh, has a, has any kind of question. I'm going to go into group two here and ask Elisabetta to raise her hand so I can show you. Elisabetta, in about five seconds, could you raise your hand for me? So now I'm going to go back to the main room. Now I can tell students before they go to their breakout groups, if you have a question, raise your hand. And it shows me here that Elisabetta raised her hand, so I can then enter into group two and I can answer Elisabetta's question. When you are done with the breakout groups, uh, it is uh, best practice to kind of let the students know that you're going to end the group. So send them a text. I usually tell them we will be ending the groups in one minute. 
And now if you are in the everyone chat room, everybody in all of the groups will be able to uh, see your chat. While the students are in groups, they will be presenters and not participants. So students will be able to share a whiteboard. They'll be able to share their screen, an application, a Chrome tab or another tab in their browser. They will also be able to share and upload files. In our next video, we will talk about sharing while in groups and um, how students can upload files and then share those files in the main room with the entire class for a presentation. So I'm going to stop our breakout group now by going to our group tool here. And I just simply go to the bottom. I come to my roster. Oh, there's Wendy. She says, oh, OK, thank you for letting me know. So Wendy was able in her chat room by replying in the everyone chat. I can see her chat. Go to my roster tool. And you up here in black where it says I'm in the main room, next to that is the end breakout groups. I end the groups here. And now all of the students will be returned to the main room. If there's any sharing or discussion, this is when we would then talk to each of the groups, perhaps uh, change a student to a presenter so they could present whatever it is the students put together. I hope you found this helpful on using random breakout groups. Stay tuned for another video on using custom breakout groups and on sharing files in breakout groups with both the groups and the main room. Have a great class.